Welcome back on this final Friday night in September. The season moves along very quickly. Let's get back to the highlights. Down in Independence, Simon Kemp looking to sink the Raidership of Ryle High School. Brennan Kunz played quarterback for the Pioneers on the keeper. He scores from 11 yards out, and the Ryle boat is already springing a leak. What kind of night it was for SK? The extra point bangs off the upright and goes through. Coach Jeff Marksberry says, hey, I like the way things are going. Good night for Brennan Kunz. He reached the 1,000-yard passing mark for the third straight season. He connects with Logan Winkler on this 48-yard scoring play. The Pioneer Nation alive and well. Simon Kent wins it 46-7. Nice night in Taylor Mill. It's homecoming. Congratulations to the Queen, the King, and their court. It's Scott against Cooper against before halftime. Ben Osborne hits Nick Brinkman with an 11-yard touchdown pass. Scott has a 21-14 lead. This doesn't happen all the time in Scott. Then in the third quarter, Scott drives again. Josh Castleman converts the fourth down for the Eagles with a nifty hard-fought 12-yard run. Cooper head coach Randy Borchers hoping for a better effort from his defense, but they do come up big moments later. Brandon Youngblood and Ty Keller stop Castleman short on another touchdown running attempt. Then Will Ludwig finds Corey Fussinger in the end zone from 14 yards away. That ties the game at 21, but Scott wins again 28-21, ensuring their first winning season since 1990. Nice job. One of the biggest games in Northern Kentucky is going to be played Saturday afternoon. Undefeated Highland plays at Covington Catholic. That's tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock. Let's head back to Ohio for one more game. Undefeated CHCA breaks through the Purple Haze. Maybe Jimi Hendrix night at Summit Country Day. On the reverse, it's Cam Murray taking the handoff and watch. He actually fumbles the football short of the goal line, but the referee missed it. It's a 7-0 lead for the Eagles. On their next possession, there was no doubt about this one. Two yards out, Nick Marsh takes it up the gut. 14-0 for the boys from Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy. Summit just couldn't get much going on the ground. So Antonio Woods goes to the air way up top for Daniel Bruns. He makes the leaping catch. That's quite a play, but not enough. Summit loses for the first time this season, 38-10. In college football, a welcome week off for the Cincinnati Bearcats. The Miami Redhawks are in Champaign to face the Fighting Illini. Kentucky begins play in the Southeastern Conference against 